Now that we have successfully generated our first code, let's go through some of the most important parts to see what each file does. As you can see here, the first file which has been generated lies in the source model table categories table PHP. So let's go in there. Source model table categories table. And here we have basically a PHP class where it defines, okay, this is the PHP representation for our categories table. The main display field is the name field. So if you print out an entity or something that uh, this is the main field to display, the primary key of this table is the ID field and we have a timestamp behavior, which I will explain a little bit later. The validation default method here is uh, necessary for the validation process of CakePHP. So every time you add or edit uh, an, a data in, in your database, CakePHP performs these checks in the validator um, to see if the input data is correct or not. So in general, this file is sort of the representation of your whole table in your database where you can perform create, read, update or delete actions. But also later on in another video, we will also uh, connect this table with other tables in typical has many belongs to or belongs to many associations. So you can uh, automatically load related data, etc, etc. All right, enough of this file. Then let's continue the, the, the model entity category file we will go into later when we have the control already. Everything test related will also be in another video because this is just too much for one video. So now let's continue with the categories controller. This lies in the source controller categories controller file. And here we have basically all our CRUD operations plus an index method present, which basically starts the whole operation and all the functionality of our backend. So let's start with the index method. The index method is basically what we see here when we call slash categories. It's just a table of all the present entries in the database. And in this table, so if I add another entry here, we can see this is test one to three, and this is test and all the other columns present. CakePHP here does uh, basically one thing. It just says uh, paginate over the current um, table instance. So this categories here represents our table instance, which we had open before. The so as model table, no, table categories table. This is this file, which we previously opened and basically says, okay, just iterate over all these entries and then set these entries into our view. With this set, you can set data into the view and compact is just a PHP native way uh, of doing basically this. So let's just categories is categories. It's just an associative array where the key and the value have the same um, name. And so you don't have to repeat yourself. We just say compact categories and that's basically the same. But what does this now in the template? So, okay, we can set variables via this set. Now let's go into the templates. Here we have now a categories folder and here we have an index method because we have an in, uh, index template file because we have an index method in our controller. And inside this index PHP template file, we basically produce our table, which we have seen before. Um, so here is just a helper method of cake, which we already create a link. Um, this is the translate methods, which CakePHP uses typical, um, which, which, which uses the typical PO file structure, but we will go into that later. Um, this is the paginator helper, so we can also uh, sort by name or sort by modified or by created date time values. Um, this just helps us 
outputs these links. So CakePHP already understands this. And now here we can see our categories variable, which we have set before in our, um, in our controller, in the index method. This categories variable, this categories, um, yeah, variable, which we set in the controller is now represented in our template file via the categories um, variable as well. And in here, we have an array of all the categories present inside our database and just output each field as a property uh, of this entity. And in the end, there are also um, the rest of the paginator helper functions. So if we have more than, I don't know, 20 or 10 entries, we just paginate over the entries and can see, uh, let's just do that just to see, just to show you what I mean by that, by pagination, if you don't know what pagination is, pagination is, uh, limit one, uh, and now you can see, we just see one entry and we, here we have previous one, two, three and last. And basically it's just, if you have a huge amount of data uh, in your table present, you can just paginate through these entries so you don't have uh, too much of a load time. But yeah, basically that's all that is happening in the index method. Now let's go to the view method. Uh, compared to the index method, you now see uh, that we have a parameter and that is the ID. Now you might ask, okay, how does the ID uh, get placed here as an argument of this method. If we look at this link, we can see it's slash categories slash view slash 15 and slash 15 is the ID of our category we want to see. So automatically CakePHP uh, transfers all the um, URL path parts as arguments in the respective action. Now, okay, ID is now our ID, which is present in the table for the respective entity. But how do we get the entity? Well, before uh, in the index method, we just passed the whole table instance into the paginet method and, that, and it just uh, showed us all the entries. Now we just want to have, get one entry and this is also happening via our table instance, but now we have a get method where the first parameter is the ID that we want to retrieve from the database. Um, additionally, the CakePHP code generator adds a contain here, but we will get to that in another video where we will talk about related data in other tables. And again, just the same as we did in the index method. We set the new category entity now um, into the into the view. Um, but as you just heard, this is now a category entity, and this is the other part of the code which has been generated um, besides the table in our source model folder. This is the source model entity category, and in here it's basically not really much happening because this is just a representation of one row of our data. So basically we can say um, this 15 entity uh, row is just one representation uh, of our data in the database. And the entity file in CakePHP is just this one representation file. But yeah, then we, as said, sets this category to the view. We now here also have a view file for this view method in the controller. And here, similar to the index method and similar to the index file, we just output a table, but here we don't have the for each because we just have one entity. But not really anything more fancy happening here. All right, now let's go to the add method. The add method is, as you may believe to think, responsible for adding a new entry to our table. So this is this formula here. Here we now have a form. Um, and basically we have here two paths this method can go. 
either when we call this um, this method via get. So this is what is happening here right now. This is just a normal get request. We don't go into this if and nothing is really happening because we just create a new empty entity um, and set that to the view where we build basically our form and make that uh, name field editable via a default um, control output field and yeah just let the user input some data but um, by default cakebhp creates post forms so if we look into the uh, if we look into the um, HTML generated we here see that the form method is post and so if we submit that uh, form it also goes back again to the add method but now we fall into this uh, if this request is a post request then we patch our entity again with our table instance so this is the empty new category entity we created before and we patch this empty entity with the data that has been submitted in the request by our form before and finally we are saving that this whole patch entity and save uh, mythology will come later when we're talking about the validation again because basically the validation is happening right here in the backend uh, but all the rest that is happening here if the category now could be saved and therefore inserted into the table we just show a nice little flash message which is this at the top right here uh, and redirect the user to the index method so we can see what has been added to the to the database if the sa saving is not correct because maybe validation or some other error has occurred then we just show that something has gone wrong and we don't redirect um, and that's basically all that is happening here we can also quickly uh, um, pretty quickly go through the edit as well because edit is basically the same as add but just with a entity that is already present in the database so just like in the view we now retrieve the entity for that given id from the database and if it is now a patch post or put method so you can theoretically theoretically also call that via other http methods um, via uh, i don't know a chess application um, but basically all the same logic as in the add method is happening here and the add and edit templates are basically also the same so yeah nothing really different happening here now the last method that has been generated here is the delete method and the delete method as you can see here has no extra template file because cakebhp by default shows this javascript native alert where he will ask basically do you want to delete number 15 here or not and that is basically what is um, checked here so if this request is post or delete then get the category which should be deleted and try to delete it if it is successful show it as a successful measure message if not show it that it, that something went wrong and then redirect back to the index method and therefore we don't have an extra template file for that so yeah basically that's all the main components i would say that you need to know which are auto generated by the cake Beach cli um, there are of course uh, some other files like in the test uh, folder where we have a ca categories fixture and uh, some controller tests but testing is a whole nother big topic we will also <laughs> uh, trigger and also um, go through in another video in more detail so with that, you should now have a much better understanding of how the cake CLI, cake CLI generated code works. And you should try out yourself, fiddle around with all the stuff you now know. 
And with that, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next one.